So, let us do an example of a of a Bayesian Bayesian game and uh, let us see how the how uh, um, a Bayesian Nash equilibrium we will compute a Bayesian Nash equilibrium of this game uh, in mixed strategies. Okay. So, the game here has two players let us denote these players by 1 and 2. Okay. Now, player 1 has uh, player 1 here has, has two types uh, let us denote these types by I 1 and I 2 and player uh, player 2 has just one type and that is just denoted by is just this ok. Alright. Now, these types get realized with the probability half. So, probability that of this is equal to probability of this is half ok. Alright. Now, uh, there are two possible uh, two possible actions uh, for the players ok. So, let us player 2, player 1. There are two possible actions for the players. So, player 2 has actions L and R and these actions are the same regardless of uh, are the same uh, in uh, that I mean since player 2 has only one type ok. He has just uh, this one set of actions which is L and R. But for player 1 because he has two possible types the, the his action set also depends on his type. Okay. So, here he has actions. So, when his type is uh, when the type profile is 1 1 comma 2 when that is the type profile he has two actions let us call them up up 1 and down 1 and the payoffs are 1 0 0 2 0 3 and 1 0 and when the when the type profile is 1 2 comma 2 you have the actions up to down to and what are the actions for player 2 it is still L and R right because he has he he is act he has only one type ok and the payoffs then are 0 2 1 1 1 0 and 0 2 and both players are maximizing ok. So, both maximizing players all right. So, let us uh, write out this game in extensive form. So, you have nature which is playing with pro so nature chooses a type 1 1 for player 1 that is one the other type 1 2 for player 1 ok. Now, then player 1 has two choices which is up 1 down 1 up 2 down 2. Now, player 3 player then comes uh, this is player 1 then player 2 will play player 2 has two actions left and right. Now, what is the information set of player 2 here? What does player 2 know? So, it is a simultaneous move game after the types have been realized. So, what does the player know? Player knows only his own type right and plus it is a simultaneous move game. So, what is his information set? everything in one this thing. So, he has this information set right. So, you so the information set of player 2 is this. So, now let us um, let us write go back here ok and uh, we need to write out mixed strategies for the player ok. Now, player 2 has only one information set. So, he can randomize uh, so you think of it as not mixed strategy behavioral strategy. So, for this information set he is going to choose he is going to randomize between L and R ok. So, suppose he chooses L with probability Q and R with probability 1 minus Q 
So it is going to, so remember this, so you have L which uh, write this in a different color. So L is chosen with probability Q, R is chosen with probability 1 minus Q. What about L and R here? It would have to be the same because there is only one information set. So this is Q and 1 minus Q. Okay. Now what about player 1? Player 1 can be allowed to randomize differently in each matrix, right. So here he, he can, he let us say chooses x and 1 minus x and y and 1 minus y, okay. So if you remember what we, uh, what we discussed about these, uh, for these games, what, what happens effectively is that this becomes a game in uh, a Bayesian Nash equilibrium becomes equivalent to a Nash equilibrium in which every type of every player is a distinct player. So because now there are, uh, there are a total of three types, type 1 for player 2 and 2 for player 1, this is effectively now looking for a Nash equilibrium as a, for a three player game, is this clear? That is what we are effectively looking for. Okay, so, you can imagine this is going to be quite complicated because it is anyway two player game is itself complicated. Three player game uh, means that we have to now solve for these three variables x, y and q simultaneously. Okay. So, this is just a way to just to give you a flavor of how you can go about doing some calculations like this. So, I we will just go through these arguments one by one. So, first let us argue uh, to find this now. So, first let us argue that q has to be Q cannot be either 0 or 1 in an equilibrium. So, first we show that Q cannot be either 0 or 1. So, what happens if, let us say what happens if Q is 1. So, let us come back here. Okay. If Q is 1, then basically player 2 is choosing L. He is choosing L here and choosing L here also. Okay. Now, if he is choosing L here, what is the best response of, uh, of player 1 in this type, he would choose, so players are maximizing, so he would choose x equal to 1, right, he would get 1 then, okay. Now, but if he is choosing x equal to, uh, and, and okay, and then his, and what about uh, the best response in this one, he, he would choose y equal, to, y equal to 0, right, he would choose d2, is this clear, okay. In that case, if player 1 is choosing u1 here, and d2 here, okay. Now, what is the payoff that player, that player 2 can get from this? So, this type gets realized with probability half. This type he gets, re, gets realized with probability half, right. So, he is getting half times 0 plus half times 0. But if player 1 is going to be choosing u1 here and, and, uh, and d2 here, what should player 2 actually instead do? Player 2 can in fact play R instead of playing L, right, because then he will get 2 here. So, so in other words, L is not, if, if L is chosen by player 2, then player 1 would choose U1 here and D2 here, okay, in which case player 2 would get half, uh, would get 0. But then player 2 can shift to R and get something more than 0 for sure, okay. So, in other words, playing Q equal to 1 is not a, it cannot be an equilibrium, all right. Likewise, you can argue that Q equal to 0 also cannot be an equilibrium, okay. For the same, uh, you can come up with the same sort of argument. So, if Q is equal to 0, then basically player 2 is playing, uh, player 2 is playing this R, all right. If layer 2 is playing R, then the, the best response for, for player 1 in this type is to play D1 and in uh, this type it is uh, to play U2, all right. But the best response to that is not R anymore, okay. So, you can, uh, you can check that, okay. So, what this means is that, so if Q is equal to 0, must play u1 comma d2, which gives 
layer 2 half of half of what half of 0 plus half of 0 which is 0 So if q equal to 1, this is with q equal to 1, right. Similarly, if q equals 0, player 1 must play, must play what? d1 comma u2 which gives what does it give player 2 half into 3 plus half into 1 which is which is 2 ok. But uh, if player 1 is playing d1 here and uh, u2 here. So, if player 1 is playing d1, uh, so, so instead playing q equal to 1 would have given him uh, q equal to 0, sorry I have been looking at the wrong, wrong block. So, if q is equal to 0, uh, play, uh, player 1 must play uh, play d2, so that gives him, which gives player 2, what does it give him? Half into 0 plus half into 1, right? Yeah, which is half. Uh, instead playing q equal to 1 would give him, would give player 2 half into, now, uh, now half into 3 plus half into 2, right? Is that right? Half into uh, into 2, which would be 5 by 2, ok. So, so this shows that q, uh, which means that q is uh, q equal to q is between the at at a B, at a Bayesian Nash equilibrium. All right. Okay. So, which means that player two is playing a completely mixed strategy, bit, uh, something that is between zero and one. Which means then that the uh, uh, as far as if you look at, uh, which means that the payoff that player two can get from each of his pure strategies must be equal. Right, because he is mixing bo uh, bet uh, between uh, between them. Into, uh, he is mixing between them, so it ha it cannot be that any one of them has a higher payoff. That's what we have basically shown here, right? So, which what this means is that so thus payoff of player two from each. Pure strategy L or R must be must be the same. Okay, so what is the payoff that he gets uh, from uh, when he plays uh, when he plays L? So firstly, the uh, the first box is uh, first type is going to be realized with probability half times. Now the he gets a payoff of zero. So, here this is chosen with probability x, the box itself is chosen with probability half, then this action is chosen with probability x, right, D by player 1, that is x here. So, you are going to get half into 0 into x plus half into 3 into 1 minus x, ok. So, let us just write this 0 into x plus half into 3 into 1 minus x plus, plus half, 
So, this is what he gets from this from this box and this is and plus half of this what he would get from this box by by playing L ok. So, half into 2y plus half into 0 into 1 minus y. So, this here is the of from L. Remember what I am writing here is u of that the what the player would get when he knows his own type right. So, what you have to do is you have to sum over the types of all the other players times the probability that those types will occur given the, your own type times the payoff that will come and then there is also a mixing because uh, mixing uh, mixed strategy that is happening uh, which is giving rise to these x's and y's ok. So, you have also then the strategy uh, the strategies that are chosen. So, that is what is written here ok. So, this is the payoff from L what is the payoff from R? So, this has to be equal to the payoff from R. So, this is half into half into 2 uh, 2 x plus half into 0 into 1 minus x plus now half into yeah half into 1 into y plus half into 2 into 1 minus y right. So, these two have to be equal. Now, what this gives us is that x should be equal to 1 plus 3 y by 5. Ok. Now, this is a this is a, a characteristic feature of uh, of these this things that you get this kind of simultaneous equations across the types of players of the same player ok. So, so which means that you must have that q has to be between 0 and 1 and x has to be x is has to be equal to 1 plus uh, 1 plus 3 y by 5. Now, question is does every such is every such point actually an equilibrium is this enough. So, this is just we just know that this must be satisfied, but we do not know if uh, this is the, you know this is uh, if all such points are equilibrium ok. So, so now let us go through this uh, let us uh, let us drill down further into this this is we have narrowed it down to this now ok. Now, suppose uh, so now let us take these cases. So, suppose q is less than half. Now, if q is less than half so, we just know that q has to be between 0 and 1 and and these uh, which means that x and y has to satisfy this. Now, whatever q you choose x and y should be a best response. Now, suppose q is less than half ok. What is player 1's best response? So, just go back to this. If q is less than half ok which means that q is giving more weight to this ok. So, what is the uh, what is player 1's best response? Yeah, so is player 1's best response actually it turns out that x equal to if q is less so you can write this out you can write out the exact thing ok. So, uh, so what is player 1 getting here? Here is getting q plus 1 minus q and here he is getting uh, so sorry q into uh, into 1 plus 0 into 1 minus q here he is getting 0 into q plus 1 into 1 minus q right. So, if q is less than half then player 1 would prefer this. So, which means x equal to 0 is his best response right uh, and likewise what uh, let us see here. So, if here he is get what is player 1 getting here he is getting 0 into 0 into q plus 1 into 1 minus q and here he is getting q plus 0 into 1 minus q. So, if q is less than half here then what would player 1 prefer u 2 right. So, in other words if q is less than half then in this type player 1 would prefer d 1 which is x equal to 0 and in this type he would prefer u 2 which is y equal to 1 ok. So, if so, if q is less than half which means that player 1 best response 
is x equal to 0 and y equal to 1. See, I, unlike for player 2 where I had to average over the two matrices, player 1 actually knows which matrix he is in. So, he there is not, uh, there is nothing for him to average over because player 2 has only one type. Okay, so that's that's become very simple here. So player one's best response now is just x equal to zero and y equal to one. Now x equal to zero and y equal to one doesn't satisfy this this equation here. Doesn't satisfy this equation. Okay, so which means that uh, q less than half is not possible. We can similarly argue that q. So if q is greater than half then what would happen the exact uh, the exact opposite would happen right because it's the 0 into q 1 plus 1 into uh, 1 minus q that type that type of thing so player ones so then player ones best response is is x equal to 1 and y equal to 0 which is again the same problem. So, x equal to 1 and y equal to 0 does not satisfy this, right, this, this equation. So, neither of these satisfy x is equal to 1 plus 3 y by 5, okay. Now, what does this mean then? It has to be q equal to half because we know that there is at least one equilibrium. So, so which means that q has to be equal to half, okay. So, now if q is equal to half, okay, then, then uh, if q is equal to half, then what you can see what happens to the payoff of the player uh, of, uh, of player 1. If q is equal to half, then both u1 and d1 will give him the same payoff here and u2 and d2 will give him the same payoff. Here. In other words, player 1 can play any x and any y here. But then remember we were also constrained to satisfy this, okay. So, in other words then what this means is q is q equal q has to be half and x comma y are such that x is equal to 1 plus 3 y by pi and x is in 0 1 and y is in 0 1. Now, you put this together actually this gives you a, uh, this gives you some kind of a region you can uh, you, you can write that out. Um, if you, you can see actually that this it cannot x cannot uh, because because of this because x has to be between 0 and 1 and uh, and so on and y has to be between 0 and 1. So, you can actually take y to be anything between 0 and 1 the x will still remain in 0 and 1, but x cannot be too large. Okay, because y also has to be between 0 and 1. So, you can what you get is that y is between 0 and 1 and x is between 1 fifth and, uh, and 4 fifth. Okay. So, this is there is nothing more that needs to be said. These all of these points are actually equilibrium. So, x, y, q x y q such that uh, this holds and and uh, q equals half are Bayesian Nash equilibrium. Okay. So, in a three, it is effectively you can think of this as a like a three player thing essentially two players collectively make the other guy indifferent between his, his uh, pure strategies, you know that is what is happening here. 